Welcome to my channel Mallorca Under the Sun and in this video we are in the beautiful hilltop town of Dea. Now it's been a long time since I've been up here in Dea on the north of the island but I thought I'd make a comeback to this absolutely beautiful town to give you an update for what it offers here in 2022. Now, as many of you know, Dea is a magnet for the rich and famous. And over the years, we've seen visitors here, which include Robbie Williams, Bob Geldof, and even Chris Martin. And you can understand why so many rich and famous people do come here to Dea, simply due to the seclusion and the privacy that this town offers. Now, one of the best ways to explore Dea is parking at one of the entrances to the town. There are, there are a couple of car parks actually in Dea, but they do get very busy. Now, there's a main walkway as you go through Dea, and my advice really is, is to jump off these walkways and head down the little streets and the little alleyways as well to really explore the hidden parts of this absolutely stunning town. Now you can see I'm starting my tour here on the far end of the village um, that you will arrive to if you're coming in from Valdemosa and the views that you get already of Dea Centre itself are absolutely spectacular. Now these hilly roads are an absolute magnet for hikers and bikers and there are absolutely literally swarms of cyclists coming through the village just simply because this is fantastic cycling territory here and uh, it attracts cyclists from all over the world. Now as we're coming along the walkway here you can see several restaurants have indeed opened now for the season and the restaurant in front of me is actually open year round so if you are coming here out of season you know that you can get a really good bite to eat. Now all the way through there you can hear the rushing of the water coming down from the mountains. Now we've had quite a rainy spring so far so you can see why there are literally torrents coming down to the village. Now already as you come into the town you're welcomed by so many more restaurants too and there are plenty of places to eat here whether you're here cycling and you need to refuel before you head up the mountains but there are also some great little art shops here as well and great little galleries too. Now in the restaurant, which you can see in front of me here, it's great to see that they're still doing a really good reasonably priced menu del dia for just €12.50. Euros and this obviously includes wine, water and dessert. Now it's only the beginning of the Easter holidays here and already Dea feels like Dea in July. It is absolutely heaving with people here. But it's great to see that the restaurants are all open and doing business and they're Plenty of people out and about and having a, a fantastic time. So they have some real treasures out here in terms of fine dining. Now I'm sat outside Nama restaurant here and if you go through some of these amazing old rustic restaurants you can actually see that some of them lead out onto the terraces that we could see when we came into the town and they offer some of the most fantastic views. And there are plenty of places to hear, eat here in the town and you can see by the many restaurants which are dotted all over. Okay, so you're not going to find Euroski or Mercadona supermarkets up here in Dea, but instead these little mini food markets. Now the bakery is in this particular store here, but you can also pick up some locally made products as well as a great range of fruit and veg. So from Can Bernard here, this mini food market, we're going to take the next left here and head into the village. Now, as you come through the village, you see these little fountains. So if you are thirsty, you can get a drink of very fresh spring water. Now it's great to see that these are back in operation post COVID times.
So while Dea is very famous for its boutique five-star hotels, there are some other fantastic places that you can stay, even in the heart of the village, as you can see here, and I'm just outside the Hotel Des Pouges. But there are also youth hostels too, as well as much lower star hotels, so there's plenty of choice for everyone. So as many of you know, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas are residents here in Dea, at least during the summer months, and they have a property somewhere between Dea and Valdemosa. So Catherine, Michael, if you are watching this, I would love to have you on my channel with a professional film crew, of course, so please get in touch with me through the usual channels. So right next to the church you have probably one of the most beautiful cemeteries here in New Yorker and this is also the burial spot of Robert Graves. So as you come out from the cemetery you will be rewarded with the most fantastic views all across Dea including the hotel residence here which you can see in the distance. Now this is a fantastic spot really to come up take some photos and just get some fresh air during the hot summer months but this walk is definitely worth doing if you are touring around the area. Okay, so from the cemetery here up in Dea, we're going to head back down into the village and see what else there is to see here in Dea. Now don't forget too that Dea is a year-round destination and it is a magnet for hikers too, particularly in the winter months. So there are lots of routes marked out here and many of them will take you either up into the mountains or down to the coast. Right at the very end of Dea Village, you get to Robert Graves' house, which is now a museum and it is open to the public. Now, Robert Graves was a poet and an author here in New Yorker, and almost it could be said that he was responsible for bringing many famous people to this beautiful New Yorker town. So a little bit further on from Robert Graves' house, you see this turn off here, which heads down towards Cala Dea. Now there are a couple of great restaurants down here on the beach, so let's go and check them out. Okay, so I have made the very windy hair raising drive down here to Caladea from Dea Village. But it's well worth the effort to get down here because it is so beautiful. The water is absolutely crystal clear and it is perfect for swimming. There's also a couple of restaurants down here too, which are really worth trying. Now, if you want to see how long that drive is, I will link to a video just up here. And that's one of the original videos that I made for my channel. So you can see how far it is, whether you want to hike or drive down here. Okay, everyone, thank you very much for joining me on my video today. I hope you also come and visit Dea while you are over here on holiday in Mallorca. Now, there will be an article on my website, which is MallorcaUnderTheSun.com very soon, all about Dea. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel too, if you haven't done so already. You can also follow me on Facebook and also on my Instagram too. And I look forward to seeing you all on my very next video. Goodbye for now.